At this time, it will begin pressurizing the propulsion system to increase the thrust of the system. Uh, it will use that for all the maneuvering in the atmosphere we're about to do. We are standing by for guided start and the start of guided entry. Okay. Nav can see the entry in the atmosphere in the Doppler. We are beginning to feel the atmosphere uh, as we go in here. The vehicle has just reported via tones that it has started guided entry. At this time, the vehicle is beginning to steer its way to the target. That is starting its first bank reversal. First bank reversal complete. We have seen peak deceleration. We have passed through peak heating and peak deceleration. Uh, it is reporting that we are seeing Gs on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth Gs. Flight GDSA. GDSA flight go. We are processing data from Odyssey. Roger that. Bank reversal 2 is starting. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. All bank right. reversal 2 complete. Copy bank reversal 2 complete. Thanks. Uh, Standby flight. We have a connection, but we actually do not have any data yet. Copy. We can expect some intermittent contact at this time as the uh, signal gets there we increases go. to Back respectable level. There we go. We now seeing and we have RTDPs. Okay, copy. And visualization is updated. The adventure heading alignment. There we go. Receiving medley data. At this time, Curiosity is no longer trying to control how far it's flying downrange and is just heading directly for the target. End of range control, air used, minus 1.2 kilometers. The EDL team is reporting that uh, we are, uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have control, we have converged uh, a lot of the error and we should be heading toward the target. Play EDL, uh, TDS warning is okay. Copy. Power on. We are seeing a tone from the one uh, indicating that we uh, have seen uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the medley instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're going about Mach 2.4 at an altitude of 17 kilometers or so. Vehicles reporting heartbeat tones again, uh, indicating that everything is fine during heading alignments. Uh, we are standing by for straighten up and fly right and parachute deploy. Vehicles continuing to decelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. We're at 15 kilometers altitude. We've begun entry balance mass jettison. Predicted mid downrange is 1.597 kilometers. EDL Ops, Odyssey Systems on EDL Ops. Parachute deploy. Parachute deploy. Yeah. Thrusters have been re-enabled. Uh, we will control our attitude on shoot. We are decelerating. Wrist mode under our parachute are 20 to 30 meters per second. Per second. Nominal. Dynamics phase. Come back again with uh, wrist mode dynamics. Wrist mode is nominal. We are 9 kilometers and 8 millis active. Valid range. 
Nav shelter converge with a velocity correction of 0.7 meters a second. We've acquired the ground with the radar. Now two of eight kilometers. Uh, Each of has separated. We've we lost the X-band tones due to Earth occultation as expected. We're UHF all the way in. The Emily engines in preparation for powered flight. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers of descending. Flight EDL, we've got some Tweeta warnings. It is we in battle short mode, so I should power through them. Director Earth Communications at this time. We may have lost it already. We're down to 86 meters per second at an altitude of 4 kilometers in descending. We have lost act we've lost tones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, we are continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Ground solution equals minus 10.8 meters. Vertical velocity of minus 82.8 meters per second. We are finding Charlie's start enabled. Standing by for batch shell separation. Signal to Odyssey is still strong. We are in powered flight. We're at an altitude of one kilometer descending, about 70 meters per second. Signal to us, remains strong. 50 meters per second, 500 meters in altitude. Standing by for sky crane. Constant velocity, accordion nominal. Altitude error, 5.9 meters. We found a nice flat place. We're coming in ready for sky crane. Down to 10 meters per second. 40 meters altitude. Sky crane has started. Descending at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting bridle cut shortly. Tango to us, you remain strong. Tango Delta nominal. Yep, yeah. uh, Edelcom configured. Rimmy stable. UHF telemetry. UHF stable. UHF is good. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. Time to see where our curiosity will take us. We are continuing to receive telemetry from Curiosity. We're, We're getting data from the surface of Mars. Hascam sequence is kicked off, waiting for images. Heads up, folks! Signal to Odyssey remains strong. Flight EDL images are starting to come down. We're seeing We're thumbnail. Images. 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 down, folks. If you're calm, configure thumbnail thumbnails are coming images. down. Rear has thumbnails images. coming down. Odyssey data is still strong. Odyssey data is very strong. Odyssey is nice and high in the sky. At this time, we're standing All by for downlinking. images. Thumbnails are complete. They got thumbnails. Full image complete. Full image complete. It's 
the wheel. It's the wheel. Now we got we can see a wheel the image. We are wheels down on Mars. Oh my God. We'll do a proper hug on the other side.